Why, hello there. It's me. Welcome to my house. It has been a busy month and a half, kinda. One thing I did? A Chinese knot class. It was not very good. I didn't really learn much. The teacher was speaking a lot of Sichuanhua. I understand that with enough time and dedication, you can make something beautiful. But that's not how mine turned out, as you can see. I didn't even touch this one. This is what the teacher made. This is one from earlier. Why can't mine be beautiful? But they did give me a nice, beautiful bracelet. Now that that's out of the way, let me tell you, I went on two trips. One was a dream, and the other a nightmare. They were both nightmares, actually. My first trip was a community center cruel. What? I was chosen. Me, specifically, because I'm a big name in the community center community, you see. There was just a, a government assessment of a bunch of community centers and how good they were for English-speaking foreigners like myself. It was a bit awkward going to the first one they chose because it was like way out of the city. It was in the countryside almost. You know, you could hear clucking and there were winding country paths. I thought I was going to be murdered. They looked accommodating for foreigners despite the complete lack of any foreigners and they really butted me up. They they wanted a good score and it felt good. I like being bribed. I was given a panda plush, given a big old hardcover book. I must have had 10 coffees over two days. It was a lot of free coffee. The places that gave instant coffee, they didn't get a good score. We also celebrated National Day and Golden Week. If you don't know what those are, please allow me to fill you in. On October 1st, every year since 1949, we celebrate Guoqingjie, Chinese National Day. It marks the day that the Republic of China became the People's Republic of China. Hooray, communism! To celebrate, people are given three days of public holiday, and after some cheeky weekend shuffling, an additional four days off work and school, resulting in one golden week. This gives everybody just enough time to leave their home in the city and visit their family in the countryside. That's pre-pandemic, of course. I did ask around, and most young people would rather stay at home to avoid the sea of people, and to binge TV, and play video games. But unlike every other national holiday, this one has flags everywhere. Some experts believe up to one billion flags are put out every year on National Day. I'm that expert, I made that guess, there are no official figures. But it's a lot. And lastly, we're treated to a televised military parade every 10 years, with the next one due in 2029. I, for one, can't wait. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. Please leave a like. So this year for Golden Week, me and my wife went on a romantic visit to the countryside with her parents and her parents' co-workers. It's about as fun as it sounds, but it's kind of hard to qualify that, really. How fun is the Chinese countryside for a foreigner in 2021? Well, you've come to the right video to find out. This is Schooling China. That whole bit before now was the, uh, the cold open. Our journey begins when we leave the city of Chengdu for Ya'an. I guess we aren't the only ones leaving the city. We've Something spent 30 minutes, no, 60 minutes driving, and now we're at a bit of a standstill. The cars are going back pretty far, and over there they're pretty far. Um, we've been in the car for, what, two hours? Maybe two and a half? Look at this gate! And of course, because it's National Day, we got endless flags. When do they stop? I don't know. Uh, I guess we're here, wherever that is. Okay, so the drama right now is this hotel does accept foreigners like me, hooray. But they've doubled their prices this week because it's a um, national holiday. We're either going to spend 400 a night, which is a lot of money, or we're just going to try and find another hotel. Okay, so the Chinese word for hotel is Jiaodian, which is wine shop. It directly translates to wine shop. 
It's been a long drive, and now we're going to have some Shao Kao barbecue. And old maid over there has already got the baijiu out. The night was going well, but now, now I have crabs. We ended up paying for the room that cost 470 kwai in the end because the cheaper place wouldn't accept foreigners. What a ball lake. This place better be a goddamn four, five star hotel. It is 7.30. We're gonna have to leave in 30 minutes. I hope we have time to go to the uh, breakfast place. This is what happens when you travel with old people. We have all manner of steamed goods. So there's that. This is what we've ended up with. Um, uh, it's a little underwhelming. Look at how misty these mountains are. Get out of my way, black car. Look at how misty these mountains are. Day two had us driving again. Thankfully, the scenery was nothing short of beautiful. We made our way to Xi Chang, a little place known for its rocket launch site and not much else. The Chinese countryside really does look so beautiful. I, I could just... So far this trip has been like seven hours driving, two hours looking for a hotel and not enough hours sleeping. I might have had more fun just... Uh... I've just now been told that this is an actual rocket launch place. Uh, they launch rockets from this town here in China. Where are the rockets? All I see are bins. After another hour of driving, we're here at the rocket place. I want to see a rocket. I'm not allowed to see the rocket. The reason is because I'm unvaccinated. Are you vaccinated? Oh, I guess, I guess the reason is because I'm a foreigner. Uh, so far, this is my favorite part of the rocket place. No loud noise. Uh, now I'm being escorted off the property. They don't want me clogging up the waiting room. Uh, dear, oh dear. So not only was I not allowed inside, I had to wait outside like some sort of animal in the hot sun. Here's some footage my wife took. You're not allowed that close as it turns out. Meanwhile, back in the city, my friends get to go to a beer festival. There's no way that's as fun as it looks. I'll be honest with you, I'm not really happy with this trip so far. Some sort of satellite, that's exciting, I guess. This is what I just missed out on. There's the thing. Oh, you didn't get close? Neither did I. Plenty of miniature rockets if you want to buy one of those. Uh, we're about to try this VR experience thing. The seats go dung 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 and you put on the helmets, I think. Oh wow, look at them go. Wow, they Uh, apparently this is a, an old decommissioned space shuttle of some sort, I don't know. So far, day two has been a big disappointment. I can only hope that dinner will improve my mood. I don't know what we're eating tonight, but I know what we're drinking. Okay, it turns out this is what we're eating. Just more Chinese food. With a delicious meal under my belt, I made my way back to the hotel room and played Switch on the big screen. Never leave home without it, you guys. Another day, another 7.30 start, followed by a three hour drive to wherever it is we are now. Whatever it is we're looking at, there's a long line. As I understand, we're queuing up to get in a van to go swim somewhere. 150 kwai and a scary bus ride later and look, we're here at the lost temple of Dongxi. Xiaowang? What is this place called? What does that mean? Winter poo poo? It turns out I'd been taken to the waterfall hot spring. A wonder of nature. Where natural beauty becomes a profitable tourist attraction. Ignore all of the strangers and relax in the natural hot water.
After being rejuvenated by the natural hot water, we made our way to this tourist village area resort. The sights were picturesque, the people happy and smiling, and our group very hungry. I didn't know it at the time, but my life was about to be forever changed after I had, for the first time, drunken shrimp. Given this curious dish here, you might think, oh, that's moving. It's alive. What? How long? What is this? Suisha. What does that mean? Drunk shrimp. Drunk shrimp. So these are prawns that you've bathed in wine and now they're hammered and we're going to eat them. Honey, do we eat them alive? He died doing what he loved, drinking wine. It is the last day of our trip and we're heading home now. We've cut it down a day. This is what a nice Chinese uh, pit stop looks like. I got some M&Ms for the journey back. It's only going to be another five hours drive, I think. I miss coffee and I miss McDonald's. So this is what we got to drive in, by the way. Can't see anything. It's all fog. It's all fog. We made it back to the city, but now we have to have one more hog war before the holiday is complete. And that is my month. I'm actually drinking this uh, this nice strawberry wine today. It's 20%, but only 4.1% of it is. And it tastes fine. I've had better. It wasn't expensive, so, you know, there's that. Before I leave you, please have a look at these crisps. What do you think of these beer chips, Tom? Alright. Really? You like them, huh? Yes, I do. What beer would you compare them to? I don't know. It tastes like a beer. Like oh, I see. It smells a little bit like beer. What do you think, Richard, my good friend? Beer doesn't taste this sweet. 1d8 plus 7. How are they? Good my, or bad? My good old longbow. They're just not the time time. What do you think? Still shit. I don't like them at all. 